Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we'll be doing a grid tutorial and looking at how to add custom raid debuffs and specifically this video is going to be looking at Sanctum of Domination but it can be applied to any debuffs both in the Mythic Plus and Raid situations. So you can see it here on the health frames, you can see this little icon in the middle, it has a little countdown, that's a debuff that again might require additional healing but also we're looking at how to change the overall color of the frame of the person who has a debuff, including glow borders. And this is what the video is going to be about. How do we achieve this? Let's go and get started. So this is my Restoration Druid a Grid 2 profile. This is the same profile that, that I actually use for most of my tutorial videos to do with Grid 2. So you can actually follow my previous videos and see how I actually achieved this look and feel of this profile as you can see right now. First, we need to open the options for grid 2 and you can kind of see it at the very top. In the chat, type in forward slash grid 2 to get option menu. And here there's going to be a lot of things. I'm going to take you through the options of how to add debuffs. But first of all, we're looking at raid debuffs. You want to make sure to see if grid has already included a lot of them or if you selected it. So it go to the statuses. And then again, this is kind of expanded, but you're probably going to see this. In statuses, go to debuffs, debuffs, expand this, and you'll see raid debuffs. This is going to be the most important part because you'll see debuff configuration, and you'll see general settings. First, you need to go to general settings. This might be actually the screen that you see at the first time. So, you can see that, hey, there is an enable auto detection section. This kind of option is going to show every single debuff that is going to be available in the game, in the given encounter. And sometimes this might be good because you might not be sure of how to add these debuffs and things like that. But otherwise, if there's too many things going on, like for example, there's a lot of debuffs in raid encounters where they give you a passive aura that everyone takes down and takes damage. You don't really want to see that if everyone's taking tick damage. So that's why sometimes this is not really the best way. You want to make sure you have Shaman selected. You want to, again, you can select Heroic Mythic depending on which uh, content you're doing. And then after this, because you have Shadowlands selected, you're going to go into Debuff Configuration. In Debuff conf Configuration, you'll see Shadowlands. Again, this is going to be your main option here. You want to make sure Shadowlands is selected. And then select Instances. There's going to be Fireman Dungeons and Raids in here. So you can actually go to your Halls of Atonement or to your Mr. Tierna site and see which debuffs you want to enable. In this case, we're going to Sanctum of Domination. Straight away, we see, hey, none of these are enabled. Usually, one of the best ways just clicking enable all is not a bad way to go about it. By enabling all, you'll be able to see some of the most important debuffs available in Sanctum Domination. Unfortunately, Grid 2 is missing three or four really important debuffs that are not included here. And honestly, they need to be, for example, Soul Render does not have brands. For example, Painsmith does not have the actual chain people. Another example, Guardian does not have threat neutralization or the people that get selected by that ability. And these are some really, really important debuffs that you need to track in order to heal your members. And this is the whole point of the video. How do we add these? Now, first of all, we're going to be adding those debuffs, but we're going to add one specifically. And you can add the rest of them if you want to. Let's go and get started how to find or how to add this specific feature to grid 2. So sorry for blinding everyone, but the easiest way to find the spell ID of a given spell that you want to add and things like that, going to Google, Brand of Torment is the one that we want to add because that's part of your soul render ability and just clicking enter, you're probably going to be brought to a wowhead link. And honestly, wowhead is one of the best ways to find the spell IDs. And you can see here, this is the reason why I included the URL bar here, because you need this specific ID so this is for Brand of Torment. I have the same kind of thing for Threat Neutralization from Guardians. It's right here. Again, and there's also Chains from Painsmith. And again, the only thing that you need, let's go to Brand of Torment. I don't want to confuse people. Go to Brand of Torment, go to your URL bar, and there's going to be, after equal sign, there's going to be a specific set of numbers that are going to represent the spell ID of that ability. You need to Control c to copy it and basically paste it in Grid 2. You can do this for anything out there. It can be a buff, debuff, it can be Mythic Plus related, it can be an affix, it can be anything. This is how you find the spell ID of something that you want to track and add it to Grid 2. So now we're back and we have the spell ID of Brand, ability that is part of your Soul Render encounter. And we want to add it in a way that is going to be a custom debuff. Again, 
Grid 2 does not have it here. It's not actually included as part of your soul render ability. You don't have brand. So you have to add it manually. What you want to do, again, let's not confuse people here. Let's go to the default window. Everything's minimized. You're not seeing, you're going to see this. So you want to go to statuses again, opening grid two, go to debuffs because it's going to be a debuff and control V. And this is where you're going to be pasting your spell ID for Brand of Torment. Straight away, it picks up Brand of Torment. You can see it here. You can click on it and you can do not click shop mine because you want to see if others have it and then click create. So all of a sudden you can see here, this is the top debuff. This is where you add debuffs. And this is the list of debuffs that are already added. And you can see Brand of Torment is actually there. You can click into Brand of Torment and you can see multiple different things. The main thing that you kind of want to pay attention is the color. And we're going to use this. This is going to be the color of the person that gets this debuff. If you don't want it to be red, you can change it to whatever you, whatever you want. So this is how you customize specific debuffs that you add, that you want to view again on your grid too. Now, how do I show this debuff on my frame? And where do I want to show it? In this given example, I want to show the icon right in the middle. And that's great because Grid 2 gives you a default icon that's going to be called Icon Center. And you can see it right here. This is an icon indicator. You can click on it and you can see here it tracks deaths. It tracks raid debuffs. Again, you saw the raid debuffs that I went through the start of the video. It tracks all of those. So if you untick this, you won't see any raid debuffs in the icon center. So it's very, very important not to confuse that. So icon center, it shows raid debuffs and it shows ready check. And you can see kind of like a priority here as well. What you want to do is that you want to go through the list of the available statuses and find yourself the debuff that you add, which is going to be Brand of Torment and click on it. And that's basically it. You also have a priority system here that you kind of want to track for example, do you want Brand of Torment to have higher pro priority than Raid Debuffs? That's usually fine. That's pretty okay. I can put Brand of Torment as one of the highest ones and it'll be fine. Now you added your first debuff on Grid 2. What if you want not only the little icon on it? What if you want the whole color of the player frame to change if they get this? You have to go to Health. It's very easy. You go to Health and you go to Color. There's going to be statuses, but you need to make sure to go to the Color section of Grid 2 here. And you do the same thing. You go to the debuffs and you select Brand of Torment. That's it. Now you have, you can see the priority of Brand of Torment is higher than Class Color. If it's going to be lower, it's not going to be show up. And Class Color, class color is going to have a higher priority. So you'll basically see kind of orange if you're a druid. You don't want that. You want it to have a higher priority. And in this case, Brand of Torment is going to look, which color? It's going to be red. Because if you go to statuses again, I don't want to be going all over the place, but if you go to statuses again and you go to your debuffs and you uh, maximize it and then you go to Brand of Torment, the color is red. So if you want it to be different, you can change it to whatever you want. And this, what we did right now, we went to Health, we went to Color, we added Brand of Torment, we went to Icon Center and we added Brand of Torment. Now there's going to be an icon in the middle and the whole Health frame is going to change to red. And you can do that for any of the debuffs available out there now. If you want to go even further and add a glowing frame around uh, around your player besides the icon, besides the change in the color, you can do it because a grid has recently added. You get, again, you go into indicators, into the parent of the indicators, and you create a new indicator. In this case, we're going to call it glow. We're going to click OK, and the type is going to be gl oh, my apologies, glow border. We're going to add a, this is a completely new type of an indicator that was added like a month ago or something. I made a video specifically about this. So we're just going to create it. We're going to call it glow. We're going to put top left. It doesn't really matter. The location doesn't seem to really indicate a whole lot, but we're going to create it. Now you can see glow and then you do the same exact thing. You click in onto it, go to available statuses and find yourself a debuff called brand of torment. Now, just as a test, as a test of this, you can go. Again, you don't have to do this, but you basically finished. Now you have this custom debuff and you will know forever when the person gets Brand of Torment and if you need to heal them. But as a test, you can go to the top of indicators and click test. Now you can see what it might look like. Now you can see all the different indicators. You can see an icon in the center. You can see the glowing bar. Again, you don't see the change of color. You can only see that when the debuff actually appears. But this is 
how you add custom debuffs. And this is extremely powerful because with this knowledge, you can add anything out there. You can customize your grid too to be an absolute beast in terms of providing the right information, using the priority system, knowing which debuff is more important than the other. And this is how you can build grid to be really, really powerful. Guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you want to know a bit more. Again, I use Brand of Torment, but I'm going to include the spell IDs for the three missing debuffs that are extremely important in Sanctum of Domination. It is based on Sanctum of Domination, but it can work for any raid, any mythicals, and things like that. Let me know if you like this video, and I'll see you in my next guide.